Mimi found another book that was hers when she was a little girl. And the name of it is Bugs Bunny Hangs Around. And can you see that says that book was 19 cents? Wow, that was a deal. So let's read about Bugs Bunny. I like Bugs Bunny. <clears throat> Bugs Bunny hopped out of bed, stretched his ears, and yawned. This is my lucky day, he said. I can feel it in my bones. Guess I'll stroll over to Elmer Fudd's and help him with his garden. Those carrots should be ready to eat. Begone. He hopped out of his hole and dashed down the street. Hi, Bugs. Where are you going in such a hurry? Porky Pig called as Bugs scooted past him. Over to help Elmer Fudd with his carrot patch. Bugs shouted back. So long, Doc. <clears throat> Boy, he's in a hurry. He's a running and a racing. Uh-oh, that bunny is up to no good. I better think of something quick. Porky called Petunia on the phone and told her what was happening. Oh dear, Petunia exclaimed. This is serious, Porky. I'll meet you in front of Elmer's house in five minutes. I hope we can warn him before Bugs gets there. But Bugs got there first. He found Elmer standing at the edge of his garden. Hiya, Doc, he said. Thought I might be able to pull a few weeds for you. Really? Elmer was surprised. Why, Bugs, that's very nice of you. Here, you take this hoe and I'll get another one. Just put the weeds in that basket over there. Here's the basket. And there he is with a hoe. Bugs took the hoe and headed for the carrot patch. He pulled and he pulled and he pulled. But he didn't pull weeds. No, Bugs Bunny. He pulled carrots. Bugsy, old boy, he told himself. I'm proud of you. This basket should hold enough carrots to last a whole week. Look at it, what he's doing. He's pulling all the carrots out. Naughty bugs. Page. As Elmer came out of the tool shed, he saw Porky and Penelope running up the drive. Hey, Porky, Petunia, what's the big wash? Look, Elmer. Porky said as he pointed to Bugs, he's not weeding weeds. He's pulling up your carrots and putting them in the basket. Oh boy. Look at all the carrots he's got already. That wascally wabbit, I should know better than to believe him, groaned Elmer. Never mind, we've got an idea that will fix that bunny for a while, Porky whispered. Listen. And the three of them huddled behind the tool shed to make their plans. Oh, he's so mad. Look at him. Do you have a garden this year? I know two little twin boys that helped Mama with the garden the other day. Weeding carrots. After a few minutes, Alma went into the house he made a pitcher of cold lemonade and cut a huge piece of chocolate cake. Then he went to the window and called, Oh, Bugs, come on in and cool off. You've been working so hard out there in the garden. He's eating more than he's putting in the basket. Boy, that wasn't good. Bugs threw down the carrot he'd been munching and let the hoe he was leaning on fall to the ground. That's mighty nice of you, Elmer, 
I guess I do need the rest. Mmm, cake and lemonade. The lazy bunny was in no hurry to get back to weed the garden while he lo loafed in the kitchen. Petunia and Porky were busy as beavers in the carrot patch. Look at him, he's lazy bum, lazy bum. There, that does it, Porky said at last. We'd better get in the house. Elmo will send Bugs back to work as soon as he sees us coming, he exclaimed breathlessly. Porky and Petunia went in the front door just as Bugs walked out the back. There he is, going out the back door. And there they are, heading in the front door. What do you suppose they did? Then Porky, Elma, and Petunia sat in the kitchen and peeked through the curtains to watch from outside. Bug started in right where he had left off, pulling carrots instead of weeds. Boy, he chuckled, I'll have a good supply of these juicy carrots when I'm finished. I really fooled that Elmer Fudd this time. He's throwing those carrots in the basket. Soon the last carrot was in the basket. Now I'll just pretend I'm carrying out a load of weeds, he said. Ha 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 ha, Elmer will never know the difference. Bugs bent over and started to pick up the carrot basket. Then all of a sudden, whoosh! He felt something snap around his ankle, and with a jerk, he flew into the air. Yeah! Help! Help, Elmer! He yelled. Hey, what happened? Look, right around his ankle. And there he goes, swoosh, right up into the tree. When Elmer, Petunia, and Porky finally stopped laughing, Elmer said, Well, those cowits had to be pulled up anyway, and I had the best cowit puller in town doing it for me. That's right, laughed Petunia. I guess we got two birds with one stone. And speaking of birds, look at the one in your tree. They all looked up and laughed as bug da bugs dangled from the rabbit snare that Petunia and Porky had rigged in the branches. <gasps> Look at him. He's hanging from the tree. I bet he doesn't like that. Well, how about it, Bugs, old pal, Elma called. Have you had enough of hanging around my garden? Better not pick stuff you're not supposed to, because somebody will get even.